So this is a case, a cervical spine case, where um, you will see why it is difficult and, and sometimes even very bad for the patient. We're kidding around and all that, but this is a tragic case, to be honest. Uh, so this is a trauma case, 87-year-old female. She had C2 uh, fracture and a ruptured disc and a bilateral facet fracture. So the treatment uh, we wanted to do was a C12 lateral mass, then five, six pedicle screws. This is a fairly experienced surgeon that did this surgery. We planned it to do it in the CT uh, um, you know, room, but uh, we had also difficulties at the beginning with the CT, so it was out, so we used a 3D fluoroscopy. He did, could you uh, start the videos, please? So here you see the upper screws on the left side and lower screws on the right side. And, um, seemed everything okay. Um, just go to the other video, please. It's more important. Again, he used a midline incision and he put the pedicle screws through a midline incision, which was probably the mistake. Could you start the second video, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you see, these are the C5, C6 pedicle screws again. The quality is not, you know, very good, but you have a sense that the trajectory is right in both screws. So the problem was uh, the patient, okay, let's go on. Yeah, so the patient doesn't uh, wake up for some reason. So we go to CT and CT angio. Could you start the video, please? And here you see uh, the upper screws are okay. The lower screws will come immediately. You see the bilateral, yeah. So he hit the vertebral artery on both sides. And again, probably because he tried to use it, uh, put the screws through the midline incision. CTA confirmed that both vertebral arteries were closed and there are no perfusion of the you know, uh, cerebellum. And the patient, this is the MRI afterwards. She didn't wake up. Could you start the video, please? <laughs> So you see and the damage you can do with pedicle screws. And the patient didn't wake up and she died a day afterwards. So that's why pedicle screws are dangerous and you should do the navigation and you have to do lateral incision and not go through the midline. Okay. You do lateral incisions for your freehand pedicle screws? We don't do freehand pedicle screws. Oh, lumbar you mean? You were saying earlier you do 3 and C2 letters, right? No. Never? No. C2. C2, no. C4. No, C2 to C2. for C2? No. no, that's lateral mass or pass screws, not pedicle screws. The longer pedicle screws of C2 is always navigated. The, the lateral mass or pass screws, we use it as fluoroscopy. Yeah. I think, uh, I think he means the C1 screws, right? You said so that C1 you... is also lateral mass, but C1, C2, we don't use you know, the real uh, Hans Goel with a bigger C2 screw like this. We use a smaller one, lateral mass screw. That's why we, are, we get fluoroscopy with that, yeah. Thank you. 